According to local media reports, Tiger and Gambarian, Binance's head of financial crimes compliance, has been remanded in custody in Abuja, Nigeria. The federal high court in Abuja postponed the higher hearing of Gambarian's bail application for 11 days, with the remand order continuing until the bail hearing on April 18. Uh, the judge, Amika Noite, agreed with the prosecution's argument that the correctional center is the appropriate place to remand uh, a defendant after an arraignment. Gambarian was arraigned on five counts of money laundering. Uh, in an update on the ongoing legal proceedings, Nigeria's Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, on March 28, the charged Tigran, Gambarian, and Binance with five counts of money laundering involving $35.4 million. Uh, notably, Gambarian pleaded not guilty to these charges during the court session. The judge recorded a plea of not guilty for Binance based on the request of the prosecuting lawyer. Uh, during the trial, Gambarian's lawyer, Mark Mordai, uh, challenged the manner of service of the indictment, arguing that Binance, as a legal entity, should be served with the indictment in person or by substituted means for an arraignment to take place. And, uh, however, the judge ruled that Gambarian's refusal to accept uh, service on behalf of Binance was unlawful, as both Gambarian and his colleague, uh, Andrew Walla, who escaped from Nigerian authorities' custody, uh, had signed an affidavit stating that they had been uh, in Nigeria since February as representatives of the crypto exchange company. Uh, the judge ordered Gambarian's remand at the Kuji Correctional Center in Abuja until April 18th, when his bail application will be heard and determined. Uh, Gambarian's lawyer appealed for an earlier hearing uh, or for his client to be detained by the EFCC, citing the extended period of detention uh, and its impact on his well-being. And nonetheless, the EFCC's lawyer argued that remanding Gambarian and the correctional center was the appropriate course of action, drawing parallels to Nigerians detained in foreign prisons during criminal trials. Uh, in a separate case filed by Nigeria's Federal Inland Revenue Service, uh, Binance and its executives, including Gambarian, are accused of tax fraud. Um, the, uh, the charges include failure to register with the FERS, uh, failure to issue invoices for VAT purposes, failure to deduct value-added tax arising from operations, and allegedly aiding subscribers to unlawfully neglect or refuse to pay taxes. These alleged offenses carry penalties under relevant tax laws. With the court postponing the bail hearing and setting a trial date, the case is expected to continue to unfold in the coming weeks. The charges against Gambarian and Binance in the separate tax fraud case highlight the legal challenges facing crypto companies operating in multiple jurisdictions. Uh, Binance Coin's trading price currently stands at 594 bucks, reflecting a modest 1% increase over the past 24 hours. However, it is worth noting that the token has experienced significant growth of more than 21% in the last 30 days.